The third most important reason why God persists is that superstition, spirituality, and organized religion works. And when I mean it works, it is amazingly useful. After you have a scientific foundation for how God belief became programmed into our genetic makeup, and the reason why it persists even in our advanced society, one still wonders why it's so pervasive and virtually ever-present in societies across time and space. The reason why is, having already been programmed to be spiritual and believe in a higher power by evolution and cerebral complexity, humanity tapped into our members' tendency to believe in gods by taking advantage of it. We use superstition and god belief to help avoid facing the reality of death by saying our gods would render us immortal so when we die, that's not the end. We use superstition and god belief to feed our voracious human-specific curiosity. Anytime we lacked an answer for something, or needed to ascribe meaning to something or explain it. We slapped the God onto the end of it, and therein, we satiated our incessant curiosity and never-ending fear of the unknown. We use superstitions and God belief to gain power over the masses and control them, which is where organized religion came in. If you can subdue the masses and justify your authority and decisions by saying God wills it, or you got your answers from a higher power, you were severely more likely to achieve what almost all humans crave, more power. In short, God belief in religion have persisted because they work. Just ask any couple whether they'd rather just be together or have some God supposedly preside and sanctify their union through marriage, giving it more apparent status and religious legitimacy. Most will say they'd rather get married before God, but of course they would. It gives their relationship more meaning and humans are always trying to discern, capture, and add more meaning to their lives. This is a great example why God belief in spirituality have persisted for so long. Simply put, it works. Very superstitious. Writings on the wall. The fourth and last reason why God persists is rather non-intuitive. It has to do with what I call the principle of gravity, and it is inherent to all things in the universe and on Earth. We are compelled to believe in a higher power because the energy that we are made of tends to terminate in a higher power. Now before you scoff, just do another thought experiment. If you notice, almost everything has a higher power. Ants have a higher power than a queen. Many families often have a spoken or unspoken head of the family, who is a higher power. Lion prides have an alpha male, who can be said to be the higher power. In the universe, you have galaxies that are weak out in the spiral arms, but as you move in, the galaxy terminates in a center that is a higher power of sorts. It's a higher power in energy and matter concentration. Our very solar system adheres to the tendency of all things to terminate in a higher power. Where is the higher power in our solar system? The sun, of course. And it is in this vein that I wish to add the final explanation for why we believe in a higher power. It's simply the gravitational imperative working within us to seek and be led by a higher power. Just like galaxies are led by and evolved around the higher power of their centers. Just like our solar system is led by and revolves around our sun. So are we, for the majority of us, led by and revolve our lives around a higher power. We believe in God for many reasons, and there are many obvious and supremely powerful explanations for why God persists. However, I feel it's time for mankind to move beyond superstition and witchcraft, which is what religion and God belief is. Humanity is too great and advanced at this stage to continue to be mired in fairy tales. We are on the cusp of a scientific revolution in computers, nanotechnology and artificial intelligence that going forward will allow mankind to answer our problems, dreams, and fears without the centuries-old crutch of invoking God. When you believe in things you don't